In this demonstration, you'll learn how to set up a magnetostatic analysis of a relay in ANSYS Discovery AIM. I'll apply a direct current to the coil to create a magnetic force in the armature and then view the results. I'll start by selecting the electromagnetic template. I need to import a geometry file, so I'll leave this set to the default. Next, I'll be asked to specify my geometry. I'll select this relay switch. Now, I'll set the physics options. Since I want to apply a direct current to the coil, I'll select Applied Current with a type of DC, and then Enable Modeling of Magnetic Effects. I'll leave the electromagnetic thermal behavior set to a constant temperature, and I'll want to compute magnetic force in addition to an inductance. Next, I'll define the surrounding region. I'll accept the default options here, which create an enclosure volume of air. Now, I'll specify the materials for the solid region. I want to set the coil material to copper and other bodies to steel 1010. So I'll begin by specifying the number of materials in this model as two. Then, I'll assign copper as the material for the coil. Now, I'll select the other bodies and assign the second material. Steel 1010 isn't listed, so I'll assign other instead. I can then specify my desired material later. I will now apply the template. My first step is to assign steel 1010 as the material for the steel bodies. Air and copper are properly assigned, but I need to fix this third assignment. The location is already defined, so I just need to assign the material. I'll begin typing the name and then select Steel 1010. AIM is alerting me to an issue under Physics Options. I need to fix my force computation. I'll right-click and select Fix and then the force computation. This controls the method of computing the force that results from the magnetic field calculated in the simulation. I need to add the relevant body for this computation. Next, I want to fix the current. I need to define the cross-sectional face and specify the operating current. I'll hide the coil, then select the body containing the cross-sectional face and add it. I could also select the face directly. I'll specify the operating current as 0.1 amps and then set the number of conductors or how many times the conductor is wrapped around its core. Next, I'll generate the conduction paths to verify the coil setup. The red highlighting shows the conduction path computed by AIM. This path is incorrect as it extends beyond the copper coil and includes some of the steel components. So, I'll specify an insulating condition to ensure that the conduction path only includes the stranded coil. This condition uses a selection set previously defined in my CAD model. I will now verify that conduction path is correct. At this point, all conditions are fulfilled and I am ready to solve. I am now ready to review results. First, I will evaluate. I can then expand the results heading to view the predefined results. One such result is the inductance matrix, which represents the magnetic flux linkage between current loops. By changing the matrix type, I can also view the flux linkage between terminals and the inductive coupling coefficient. I can also use this pull-down to select my other results. Here, I can see the force computation. Next, I want to review the magnetic flux density in the steel components. I'll select the three steel bodies and add a contour result with magnetic flux density magnitude as the variable. The magnetic flux density shows whether the steel 1010 material is experiencing saturation. 
The peak value is within the linear range of the BH curve included with the steel 1010 material assignment. I can also view the magnetic flux density of the surrounding air included by default with this template. This concludes this demonstration of an end-to-end -end basic electromagnetic simulation in Discovery AIM.